Good try. Ten. Ninety-eight. Five and seven rocked but didn't go. Can he get it? Yes. Good shot. 108. Six more, 114. So the score at the end of the first string of our match today between Jim Barber of Lynn and Phil Clough of Warren, Barber leads 132 to 114. And he is our defending champion. Nine. Ten pin to pick up. Yes. Spare to begin for Phil Clough. In addition to the $300, our runner-up today will also receive a certificate for a Fisher Space Pen, the only ball pen used on all Apollo and Soyuz flights. Big nine. And a... If that wood goes back to where he wants it, it'll be in a nice spot. I think it's up against it. Yes. So a good start to the second string for Phil Clough with a pair of spares. And now Jim Barber. that in 71 Jim had had seven wins in a row and then lost to Bill Kerwin in the eighth week he came on again in 73 which was actually the last time we saw him and 10 years ago he came on and where he had left off came on rolling over 400 a 403 to beat Bill Nicholson the next week he beat Rico Tagnazzi The third week he beat Gordy Baker, and then he ran into the buzzsaw and lost to Tommy Olsta. Twice that 10 pin has killed him here. Clough has a chance for some bonus money. He picked up $100 last week with four marks in a row. Four horsemen to pick up for that bonus money. Too bad. It looked as if because he's missed that three times, by getting three of them and not the head pin, as though he decided to go right at the head pin. And again, he gets three, but not the head pin. So there's no bonus money.
However, he has picked up 15 pins. And whereas it was an 18 pin lead before, it's only a three pin lead now for Jim Barber. He's going to be spooked after a while for those four horsemen with leaves and getting all but the head pin. Now Jim Barber. Successive pins. Back a few years ago, and honest, believe it or not, even though I have been around this show for 25 years, it apparently was be before that time. I've had some of the older bowlers tell me that they used to play a game in which they would attempt to get nothing but 10 successive tens. And it's not easy when you think about it. Okay, we're going to take a little break here. Pretty shot, wasn't it, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. You've seen that again. Now we'll tell you that at the end of four, here in the middle string, Jim Barber of Lynn, today's challenger, 40 with a bonus ball to roll, and today's defending champion, Phil Clough of Warren, 53. Here's our defending champion, Phil Clough, on the line. C-L-O-U-G-H. Half Worcester left. Oh, pretty! Nice recovery shot. Good pinning. Good pinning. that object, number one. He got a nine out of it, and it wasn't easy to get a nine out of that. All right, here's Jim Barber, today's challenger. And Jim in the lead in the match after rolling a 132 opening string. strike. As the 7, 8, and 9 went down, he shakes his head because he knows that he had a few horseshoes on that one. That'll be fun when he comes up again. Okay, now let's concentrate on Phil Clough and see what Phil can do here. He's had two marks to begin this second string. Now he has a chance for another. Yes. Spare, good clutch spare for Phil Clough. Answering what Jim Barber has done. Jim has at least $50 in bonus money. Oh, 
thinner hit than he wanted, just five. He can kick over that number three to catch that wood. No, he had to, obviously, had to hit the three to move it. Now he'll settle for a nine. Okay, here comes Jim Barber, and he has two strikes in a row already up there. bonus of $1,000 and Phil Clough comes up and congratulates him and remember it is still alive and it's only been done once before okay three strikes in a row three strikes in a row unbelievable really the second time in the history of our show has that happened and it is still alive. $2,000, actually 2100 Phil Clough. Jimmy's turning to me, shaking his head. He's saying, you know, he said, I'm unconscious. I'm just, I'm just throwing the ball and it's happening. And Phil keeps having difficulty with that head pin. Well, we don't know how long it's going to last for Jim Barber, but you know that both his four and Raymond's four, you'll get a chance to see again on our Silver Anniversary Show on October 8th. Nice shot by Phil Clough. Very pretty spare. Six more for Phil Club. One twenty two. Okay, Jim Barber now comes up and goes on to lane thirty seven. Remember now. He has four strikes in a row. He's already won over $2,000 in bonus money for those four. And it is only the second time in the 25-year history of our show that we've had that happen. So it remains for the record. For a spare? Yes. So he's still going. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a string. What a string. What a string. Oh, oh baby. Plus is right. Wow, 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 wow. What did he get? 191. That becomes our second high. What a string. A 191 for Jim Barber and what did he have? $250 in bonus money plus 2,000 more for the four strikes in a row. What a string. And he's already, already at 323. Amazing. 
look at it as we took up. Al Giglio was uh, so confused there for a moment that he gave uh, Clough an extra 100. <laughs> That's actually, uh, instead of uh, being uh, three as it appeared to be, it is two. Okay, I'm excited. Can you tell, folks, at the end of two, Jim Barber, 323, and Phil Clough, 236. Highest single string in the 25-year history of candlepin bowling. Ed Zernike's 197 is still our high. And Jim Barber's 191, which you just saw, is our second high. Pete Iannuzzo is third with his 190. Jim Kelly with a 186. Then Tom Senebi with a 182. Rosario Lechiara and Barry Lang and Max Valentin have all rolled 177. Tom Olsta, 176. Al Lacey and Mike Morgan, each a 174. Pete Iannuzzo, a 173. Al Renzi, a 171. Jackie Ray, a 169. Tony Baldinelli, a 164. As has Paul Romani, Rick Pennard, and Rosario Lechiara, all 164. Another mark. Jim needing up with that 191, only a 77 for a 400 series. Really something. Now, Phil Clough. Good try. It's odd. He needs just a 77, as we said, in order to roll a 400. And just happened to be glancing at the record book here. And the lowest single that we've ever had, the lowest single string we've ever had, we've been talking about the highest, was 77. Since that is a dubious distinction, I do not mention the bowler's name. Okay, Jim Barber. What a leap. Tough split. Seven. Bill Clough. Phil must be a little sick of looking at the four horsemen by now.
That time, you could tell, instead of going for the one-two pocket, he went to the right of it, hoping to start the domino effect and take out the nine. five. Everybody down except the king. Fair. 77 is what he needs for 400, but if he should roll a 146, and you remember he has just rolled a 191, but if he rolled a 146, he would have then rolled the highest three string total in our history. Because right now that record is held and has been held, believe it or not, since 1967 by Rosario Lechiara. That's a 468. Nine. Now, Phil Clough, our defending champion, comes up. <laughs> Phil has rolled a good 114 and a fine 122 and still finds himself almost a hundred pins behind. That helped a little, picking up the spare seven. But now, of course, he's opposite a spare six with his nine. So that kind of evened out. Eight. Four frames left for Jim Barber. day he's having. What a phenomenal day. Phil Clough. Let's see if Phil can get these two. It's so easy to get when you don't want it, but two and eight. Good. That is not easy. That's a tough spare to make. Yeah. 
six. Clean it up. Oh, we thought he had it that time because he did get the number one, but he got the three on the right rather than the three on the left. Ten. All right, here's Jim Barber. Two strikes in a row. And he's already had four in a row. No. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. No. Oh. Yes. Another $50 in bonus money. Remember now, the highest three-string total we've ever had is 468. Oh, a big nine on top of that. Amazing. He can do it. Single pin to pick up. Little wood that's kind of a little dangerous. He got it. Okay, that gives him $350 in bonus money, but more important, now he can break Rosario Lechiara's record. Six pins would do it. Six pins would give him a 469. Unbelievable. Three, 143. So he comes, he rolls a 466. So he becomes the second highest single string and the second highest three string total in the 25 year history. And he also becomes the second bowler to ever get four strikes in a row. Too bad, Phil Clough didn't get it. Would you say that, uh, that Jim Barber has a shot at being in the Yellow Pages Championship? <laughs> How about that? Too bad. Again, the, the head pin. I can't tell you who next week's challenger will be because that roll-off had not been held as we are taping this show, but it'll be somebody from the South Shore. Phil Clough, I'm sure, is feeling that uh, he's just happy to have been here. I mean, if you're going to get beat, you may as well be on hand while you're looking at some history. What a day for Jim Barber, $2,350 in bonus money, and he'll get first try at our $1,200 high-low jackpot. He won it, 466 to 343. In our uh, home viewer jackpot, but I want to remind you, too, that uh, we're going to have that drawing for the automobile, which is going to be given away on the Silver Anniversary Show on October the 8th, but the drawing is going to be next uh, Tuesday, the 20th of uh, September at Waterfront Park in uh, Boston, 1 o'clock in the afternoon but then the person will drive away from that show uh, with, the, with the thing, with the car, okay? <laughs> well, I'm a little, a little excited, friend. So listen, I'm gonna dig in here and see if anybody comes even close, I don't think they will, to 809, which is our total today. That means we've got a span of from 799 up to 819, but somebody's gonna win something, because as soon as I draw that car, they're gonna win these prizes anyway. A Regina electric broom. Don't vacuum from now on electric broom. With the most advanced electric broom of all, the two-motor electric broom power team makes cleaning a breeze. And a checkbook calculator from Canon, a handheld eight-digit model with three color-coded independent memories, complete with case. And a penguin dress lighter, 
a compact gold tone design with butane operation in a rib case. Oh, we're back? Oh, hi there. Okay, let's, uh, let's find out who did win all that stuff, huh? Because I'm waiting to see if Jim Barber's going to win any more money. I can tell you he's got enough on there already to last most folks for a long time. All right, let's see. This is uh, George Farris, uh, Lawrence Corner Road, Pelham, New Hampshire. And his guess is 739, so obviously we had another 50, and next week this thing is going to be worth $400. And right now, let's see if Jim Barber can do anything with that high low jackpot, which is worth $1,200. Enough, huh? You had enough. Okay, Phil, would you come here for just a second first? Let me let me take care of you before I get to uh, to Jimmy, if I may. I can't find any bonus money here. Last week you had bonus money of a uh, hundred dollars. Not this Not week, though. No. I tell you one thing. I bet you. I bet you um, that you're going to work on that number one pin for a while, aren't you? <laughs> Especially yeah, with, I quite a bit. with the with the four horsemen and so forth. You also have uh, this uh, Fisher Space Pen, the only ball pen used on all Apollo and Soyuz flights, and three hundred dollars. And uh, it was del delight to have you, and hope to see you back again. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, Thank thanks you. very much. All right, let's have Jimmy Barber. Jimmy, I'll tell you, that's one of the most spectacular scenes that we've seen. Now, look, first of all, I know you won't mind telling folks that, uh, you, I mean, you feel lucky to even be here after what happened oh, yeah. to you two years ago, right? You had a heart Definitely. attack. Right. I came back, and I feel good. I've been bowling good, but I never thought I'd bowl this good. I'll tell you, you are an inspiration to any of those folks out there that you can bounce back from a heart attack and do what you did. But all I could think of was... My God, how nervous he must be when he's coming up there when you have two strikes in a row. Nervous? I couldn't explain it. After the third one, I didn't know how the fourth one went in there. I was shaking like a leaf. I know. You turned like, over to me and you as much as said, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm like, I'm unconscious. <laughs> I'm just releasing the ball and it's being guided by God or something. That's right? exactly it. It just seemed to go in the same spot every time. It was an incredible streak yeah. picking it up with the fourth frame of that uh, of that middle string when you went on. Strike, strike, strike. Oh, un unbelievable. Right. Yeah. It sure is. Oh, God. It's, it's something I'll never forget. No, and we'll never forget it either. And you know, of course, that you are now, you just missed beating Rosario's 468 by yeah, I, got a, 468. I got a tough break. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tough break, but I'll take it, though. And your 191, as you know, is uh, second only to Eddie Zernike's 197. Uh, and, of course, the combined total between you uh, and, and uh, Phil Fluff goes over 800, which is uh, very, very few times has that ever happened on our show. But most important for you, the, if I total this up correctly, you had for the four strikes in a row, 2,000 for that, and for then seven marks in a row at that time, and then four more later for another 100, that to me figures out to $2,350, right? Plus right. 700 for winning, which makes it 3,050. You've already That's figured right. that out, huh? Well, they've been told, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> what they said. A fantastic day. And of course, you get the large trophy from the Ace Trophy Company of Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, you get our Yellow Pages Marksman of the Day, Paul Revere Bowl, and you get our eternal thanks for one of the best shows we've ever had. Right, and a lot of memories. I'll never oh, you'll never thing. forget this, and you'll see it again on our 25th anniversary show on October 8th, because we're going to replay some of those great moments like yours and Raymond's and, and uh, so forth. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, Jim. Great performance by Jim Barber. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody. when Candlepin Bowling can be seen at a special time at 11. Now stay tuned for NCAA football next on Channel 5.